Hello and welcome. Uh, today we are going to look at a workaround method actually for how to import an STL file uh, for a scan body file. You might have noticed that you can't really do it from the, uh, the scan step without it prompting you to use the Ineos X5. So here you're going to see an administration. I have a new case open and I'm selecting nothing in administration. I'm going to skip right ahead to scan. Um, and the reason I'm doing this is because with the workaround is we do not want to identify it as a implant because immediately it will want me to uh, use the tabletop scanner. So what I've done there is I've just deleted the objects of the die rotation because again it just defaults to thinking it's a crown if nothing's filled in. So what I'm going to do here instead is I'm going to essentially find my cases. So I'm going to import my STL. Now in this particular case, the upper jaw is where the scan bodies are located. So you're noticing that in the upper jaw, this is where I'm importing my scan body file. Okay, so my um, two scan bodies in this case are my anterior teeth. Okay, so I've imported the scan body file into the upper arch in this case. So you're always going to start that way. Uh, and then my lower jaw, obviously I'm just bringing in the actual opposing arch. Now what some people will do here is at this point if they want to add in a biocopy, so if they do want to do copy upper in this case, that is where I can of course import my STL, that is the regular scan of the upper jaw, so likely without the healing caps in, it can be your gingiva mask if you want, whichever you prefer, because again, when you do gingiva mask or biocopy, it'll allow you to overlay it in uh, the actual design step, okay? So whether you're using this method just to get to, you know, designing a model for 3D printing or whether you are physically trying to, um, of course, design your actual scan bodies or, uh, you know, abutments or, or screw retain crown, whichever method, you can. Now this is really important. You're going to move forward to the model phase now. So it generates 3D models. Okay. Now, as soon as we do that, one thing that you will notice on the bottom of the screen is that there is no option to move forward past the set model access step. And it's because it doesn't have any information yet in terms of what we're designing, right? Because we didn't fill anything in administration. So one thing to be really cautious of here, um, and this is the really important step, is we're going to head back into the administration scan, uh, or sorry, the administration screen, okay? And this is where we are going to fill in the details of the actual case itself. But what's really important is the step that follows just after that because again this is a workaround method we're tricking the software just a little bit um, so it's important that we identify a couple things here so I'm identifying where my abutments are going so again if it's screw retain crowns if it's an abutment whichever way you're doing I'm identifying what the actual tie base is uh, so in this case it's a dense plasterona implant so again important to just figure out whichever scan body was used and then if it was a scan post or a tie base that was scanned with the scan body, that's also a very crucial step in this case. Uh, and then I'm just filling in the remaining details. So again, if you're using this as a way to just create a 3D printed model, not that big of a deal. Now, most important here, do not select scan step, do not select next. Cannot, uh, you know, remind you of that, uh, you know, enough jump right into the model step, okay? If you select scan, it will default to blocking you from moving forward again because of, it'll, again, activate the scan body, okay? Um, so make sure that we don't uh, have that happen, okay? So at this point, now you can see I'm in the model phase and I'd be able to essentially, um, you know, complete my step. You can now see on the bottom of the screen, things like set jawline are there, past set model axis, right? So I can do all my steps now that I need. Um, if I wanted to create a 3D printed model at this point, um, again, the step that you need to get to is click scan body head so that it will identify that we're essentially ready to, um, you know, note to the model builder software that analogs will be present, okay? So again, this is the workaround method. Most important thing is that when you're in the administration at step number one, do not identify anything. Step number two is importing the scan body itself, but import it into the working art not an actual scan body file. Um, and then basically from there, when you move into the model phase, that is when you are able to go into administration to of course be able to identify what you're actually working on in terms of an abutment or a screw retain crown. That being said, bypass the scan step uh, after that, okay? Always jump right into the model builder um, so that it's ready, or sorry, the model step so that it's ready for you to identify um, the details like we are doing here in this case, like skip, click scan body head and things like that, okay?